Hello, Bobcats and all you other OCPS teachers out there. Brad Streffler here again. Today I want to talk a little bit about Canvas Analytics. And the reason I want to do this is because there's a lot of questions about attendance still and what that would look like. But what we want to be able to do is see if our students have participated in our course. So if we're using Canvas and we're putting information there, we want to know that they've checked our course each day to see what they need to be working on. And that's really easy to do. So we're going to start by going into our course whichever course we're looking at. And on the right side, you should see a button that says New Analytics. So we're going to click on that. For this purpose, what we really want to focus on is Students. So we're going to click on the Students tab and let that load. By default, it'll sort our students by last name. But if I want to know the last time they were on, I can go to this button where it says Last Page View and click that. So now I can quickly see the students who have not been on recently. I have a few of my students who have not been on since March 31st. So I know I need to check in with those students and see where they're at and see why they haven't been on and if they're completing any work. I can also see their last participation. So that would be the last time they submitted something, did a discussion board, did something besides just viewed a page. So I can also sort it by that information as well. But this here is going to be the ones I really want to focus on because this will tell me if they've been in my course or not. So an email to all those students who have not been in will pretty quickly help me make sure I know who has and hasn't been available and what they're doing. One thing to note about this report is that this shows if they've been in your course. So if you send a message on Inbox, if you email them on Canvas and they view that message, that doesn't count as being in your course. So in order to be on a page view, they had to have clicked your tile from their Canvas page in order to be considered a page view. If you would rather have an Excel version of this, you can download this as a CSV. So I can take this report and I can download as a CSV. It's done. I can open it up and I can pull up the list of that same report for all my students. So now if you know how to do VLOOKUPs and sorts and searches, then you can do all those kinds of things with Excel and again be able to say the last time they did a page view. And now I can flag the students that I need to talk to or email or message. Another way to access information about your class would be in going into the People tab. So if we go into People, this will give us a list of all students and observers that are in our class. So to make things easier, we're going to sort it to do just students only. This list we can't actually sort. We can scroll through and look at the results, but we can't click on last activity in order to save that information. So this one would be helpful if we're looking for a specific student, but it doesn't give me a great way to see, organized way to see what's going on. I hope that information has helped you out a little bit in order to be able to figure out how to see which students have and have not accessed your course recently. And if you have any additional questions, as always, you can reach out to me, bradley.shreffler at ocps.net. I'd be glad to help out with any additional questions you might have. And make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel to see all of my additional videos as I release them. I hope everyone has a great day.